Right. So, I'm back with KSP, and after doing a few test flights, literally probably about an hour's worth of test flights and recording footage and all that, it's occurred to me that my SSTO is not going to work. It, it won't. It just it refuses to do what I wanted it, wanted it to do. So, in other words, it is basically just a plane at this point. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to build stuff to collect more science with. Because science is good and science is great and we all need science. Science! Yay! So, I think what we're going to do... I've got my refueler in orbit. Right? My cursed refueler, I should say. Which should have... It should be full of fuel, I think. Okay, so it's not quite full of fuel, but that's okay. But it is up there. And that's what's important. So, Space Center. So what I need to do is I need to build or rebuild my lander. Now, the th problem I have is... If I remember correctly... I did not save. Yeah, I didn't save my subassembly, nor did I save. Auto saved ship. Which one was that one? Aha! I did save the lander. Nice. No! Wrong lander! Dang it. Okay. So, what was the auto-saved one? So let's see what the auto-saved one is. Nope. No, no, no. Moonlander, no. Dang it. Because it was a couple videos back. So I'm about to build it again. Destroyed. Okay. So... Actually, that's not the piece I want, not this time. I do want this one, which is really odd and strange looking, but I need this one because I need that. Yep. So the first thing we need is RCS, because we always need RCS. And when you have RCS, you need RCS controls. RCS controls. Now we're going to need fuel for the actual landing stage. Oh wait, that's right. Because of how I'm doing this, I can bring a lot of fuel. But I won't do that. Actually, I'll just do this. We'll do like that. Okay. Oh, that's right. Because I'm doing it like that, I can do... Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, no, take that off, scrap that, get rid of that, bring in that, there we go, yeah. Because of how I'm going to end up doing this, I can do this section, and actually, you know, yeah, I could put this on the bottom, no, there we go, so I can put that on the bottom like that. Uh, solar panels, naturally, because we're going to need them. And then I need... Under here, I need you guys. No, I don't need that many of you. Okay. And then... More fuel tanks there. Now, I could use those because they would work, but man, these things are just... Because, I mean, look, these engines worked very well the last time. I know they're little poodle engines. I mean, they've got 30 pounds of thrust, but... I mean, for slowing me down and getting me to the planet, they worked perfectly fine. 
as well as for getting you back off of it again. Okay, so that, 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 that. Now, if you're watching this and you're wondering why I'm doing it like this and you didn't see the last video that I made this craft in, then just watch and you'll learn. For those of you who have seen that video, yes, I'm making the exact same craft again because, well, it just worked. So... There? See, the problem I have is I think those are going to be in the way... That's going to be in the way of those landing gears. Yeah, we'll swap that out with a regular Clampatron. No, no, no. There, bam. Okay. And that's basically what it's going to look like. Obviously, with parachutes, because, you know, I am going to put parachutes on this thing and lights. Yeah, I really should put lights on this thing. Because it can get a bit. Oh, yeah, those were the spotlights. Oops, no wait. Okay, so I need there, and then I need to rotate them down a bit. There we go. Yeah, because it can get a bit dicey in the dark. But I have the solar panels, so it's okay. So I don't have to worry about running out of electricity. So there's that one. There you guys are. I still don't have a ladder, do I? That's going to be a minor and I do mean minor issue hmm. and of course I still need to bring all the sciencey stuff with me ah, which means a goo container which fortunately I can store the goo containers on there and the science junior which I can put there. Okay. More RCS controls. And... No, no, okay. Well, yeah, I almost... Yeah, I'm thinking I probably messed up here. No, just four. Yeah. It looks like it wants to have a hard time putting those on there. Because those lights are going to interfere. Alright, how's about this? Yeah, we'll only do two lights. I mean, the landing gears are caught. We'll cast a bit of a shadow, but meh. And that gives me my four RCS. Yes, where I need it. Unfortunately, that one is blocking the ladder, but you know, man, right now I don't have a ladder, so it's not really that important. And it gives my guy something, it'll give my guy something to stand on. Alright, so. First, we're going to scroll this up. Then, we're going to save this. Now, why Lander Mark II and not Lander Mark I? Because technically speaking, the Moon Lander is Lander Mark I. You know? So, yeah. But look at that. I'm at 42 parts in one stage already, and this thing had 43 parts and 8 stages. So, yeah, you know, we've come a long way, I think. Not really, but, you know. That's the lie we tell ourselves. Now this time what I need to do is I need to make sure to leave a probe body there. Why? Because the last time I left debris in orbit around the moon and I couldn't get to it. Right? So this time when I take all of this fuel up there like so 
I can actually reach it. And if I can't get back to it, I can deorbit it or I can send it back home as if I need to. As need be is what I was going to say, but, you know, my words got all nice and minced up there. Now, I don't know why it gives me that tank. The uh, big, huge cone flat rocket max tank. Because I don't have a big rocket engine yet. Don't know. All right. So, since the last thing I did was a catastrophic failure, to ensure that this one goes a tiny bit better, throw some battery packs on there. That's an extra 400 power. Or units of power, which should be more than enough. Well, more than enough. I should have plenty of fuel in these team these two tanks this middle tank and this bottom tank so that shouldn't be an issue those engines should just be powerful enough to get me i know they can get me off the moon and back to kerbin i know that because i did it the last time so ba -ba -ba. see oh, the hitchhiker storage container what i actually need to get my hands on is i need to get my hands on the lab and then I need to get the lab into orbit. It huge complicated thing that you don't need to worry about right now. Um decouplers is what I need. Highly explosive decouplers. So we'll set them here. The more explosive the better. Also, while I'm thinking about it. No, no, no. Strut. And strut. There we go. Because these things do have a nasty tendency of vibrating and shaking and all that stuff. So, we strut everything because it's just safer that way. No. No. Come on. You can do it. I know you can do it because you've done it before. Come on. Oh, come on. You know you want to. So, here to here. Here to here. Oh, and by the way, I already went ahead and deleted all the footage from the last, my flight attempts. Yeah, I deleted all of that. I deleted all that because you guys don't need to see that, and it was literally an hour and a half of failures, like I said. So... Like, I have clothes that are in the washing machine that are now done, and I still haven't gone to get them because I've been busy playing this game, trying to build a workable SSTO that doesn't work. I really need to strut this. Like, it has to happen. Because if it doesn't happen, then that thing is going to... Okay, look, these things are magnetically locked right now, okay? Don't get me wrong, good, strong magnets, but they will come detached if you give them an opportunity and they will have plenty of opportunities on the way into space once we're in space however not a problem but until that point massive massive problem should want to attach it's okay look watch if I do like this if I run from there to there it attaches but if I try and run the other direction it doesn't want to attach and I don't like running them like that because those 
top clamps do stay those sh top connectors do stay up there so like it just makes it look like you've got pieces of your ship hanging off I don't like pieces of my ship hanging off all willy-nilly it's undignified I mean we are a race of spacefaring people here why did you I love this game to death, but sometimes it does feel like the game is trying to kill me. Wait, I want the 45, right? Nope, I want the 30. I want the 30 because the 30 has more power and it gimbals. No, wait, the 45 gimbals. The 30 doesn't gimbal. Ah, that's what it was. So what else do I need on here? I need struts. No, I'm not done. I am just simply cheating my way to victory. So, bam. And now I don't have to worry about building up everything and running all, the, all that stuff. And then I can come back to here, grab my fuel lines. Those two are gonna run there. Those two are gonna run there. Those two are going to be... So these two are going to drop off first. Alright. That comes down here with those. Those four parachutes. That one parachute. Okay. Now, I know I collected Midland Science from the moon. Yeah, okay. And I know I've collected Highland Science from the moon, so now what I need to do is I need to collect science from some other random place. Oh, you know what I should add on to this thing? A couple baubles. Baubles. full of RCS fuel because I am going to need RCS thrusters on it. Of course we need to make sure they're all facing the same direction as the ones on the top half of the ship. Don't know why you switched to... oh yeah that's right because I accidentally touched it. Okay, bam. And now you are facing the wrong direction for some weird reason. Here we go. I don't know what went wrong. I, I don't know. I don't know. Alright. So we should be good in essence. Um, I actually am going to throw a SAS system on here. Just for, you know, good measure. So, this should fly. Actually, that's not what I wanted to do. Flight to vehicle assembly bay. Yeah, we collided. So, this is not going to have enough fuel to get me into orbit, which stinks. But, this will have enough to get me to the station. Or, I could just add more fuel to this thing, right? So why don't we do that? Uh, there you are. Mm, no, actually that's fine. That's in the wrong place. And that's in the wrong place. There we go. Launch! Alright, so. We're going to do this again. And most likely, I'm edit that last video out. Just to give you guys a heads up, I've been playing this game for about two hours now. Probably about three, as 
matter of fact, it's probably, oh no, yeah, it's about two hours. So I started about 10 o'clock-ish, and it's about 12.30 now. So I'm pushing three hours on this game, and I'm literally deleting about two hours worth of footage. Yep. Because you guys don't need to see all that. Now, I don't have a lot of mods on this thing. On my game. I do have the B9. I think it's the B9 Aerospace Pack. Which just gives me more parts. And, uh... The Flight Engineer. Now, my Flight Engineer says it's out of date. But it still works. All I really need it for is just this information here. That's all I really care about, so... Accelerating its acceleration after having decelerated its deceleration, where it was accelerating its deceleration after decelerating its acceleration. And I still don't have my clothes in the dryer like I should uh, for work. Work, 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 work. Of course, I need money. Because I have bills, and I have a book to write. And my book cannot sustain my bills, so... Work, work, work. Actually, what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to rotate it. Just so that way, when I jettison these pods off, they don't... I'm flying back to bite me in the butt. So the last time I did this, I very nearly ran out of mono propellant. And got close enough to the station to slam into it. Like, literally, slam into the station. Knocking it and myself off orbit. So this time, that's not going to happen. There we go. See? No nasty explosions to worry about. Except for that. But ignore that. Now, I know this does not have any effect on how much fuel I have left. Because, in essence, the ship used that fuel anyway, so... Everything should still be fine. I just added those bottom tanks on there because I need to add those bottom tanks on there. After my last debacle, I realized I needed more fuel. And so that fuel, those extra tanks, which actually I didn't even realize that glows. That little seam right there glows. It's kind of cool. That extra fuel should have been just enough to get me slightly higher before having to switch over to this engine, which should save me some fuel. Because the last time I needed 1,300 meters of Delta V in order to get the orbit that I wanted, and unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to need the same. And it's still going to ride a few. But that's okay. That's why I moved all that stuff up front. So, so I needed 1333, and, and 100. So, I also have another problem, which is the station is not going to be where I want it to be when I get this orbit. So, 180. That's a bit too much. But hey, uses less fuel this time, which is actually very good. So, 107. Well, if I still. I will learn to speak one of these days. You have my word on that. Okay. So. I do 
So that's at 140 something. Like 130 something. So what's that altitude? Uh, 140. Okay, so periaps is 142. So apoaps is 142, periaps is. So I'm going to have to pause here in a minute, but first I need to make sure to get this orbit, so. Orbit first, then we're going to take a small hiatus while I let you guys watch the ship float quietly, silently, and beautifully in space. Now nah, I'm just going to cut that out and cut the video back. I got to go get my clothes out of the washing machine. I'm being yelled at. Which is nice when you're recording. It's so very appreciated. One forty eight. Wow, that's okay. A little bit higher than what I wanted, but that's okay. That's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Alright. <clears throat> so take a break. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, I'm back. And I know from you guys' standpoint that it took like a millisecond and it doesn't look like I moved an inch, which I actually haven't done because I actually paused the game. So I could have done all of that without mentioning that I was leaving and you guys wouldn't have known the difference, but well, I'm an honest person, so All right. Now, I need to get to my Apple apps. I need to add a maneuver node here, which has gone out a little bit too far. So I really only need you to go out to about Rotate over to the proper direction with plenty of fuel left, I believe. It should all be, yeah, okay. So I've got plenty of fuel left to do all this. Which is fine. So leave that there. Now we will time accelerate. Until we are within the one minute mark for the node. Always freaks me out. Okay. And now we wait. Now you might be wondering what I plan to do with that other section. Well, after the last time, I realized 
things are not going to go the way I want them to. But it's okay because I have a pro body attached to that other section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing. I'm going to get my lander into position to dock with the station. Because the station is going to be the pausing point for this. And I know you guys really want to see me go from the launch pad into orbit and dock with something. I know you guys want to see that. So I'm going to show that to you. So I'm going to get this up here. I'm going to get this into orbit. And I'm going to get as close to docking with the station as I can. Hey, hey. Thinking about it, I might not have the fuel. Oh, oops. No, off. Yeah. <sighs> All right. So now we need to burn the opposite direction to get that back where it's supposed to be. is I am literally wasting fuel here. So I need that to be at least 142 or 143. Okay, so that's good enough. All right, so here's what I'm going to do then. Now that that's there, we are going to right-click and we are going... Yeah, okay. We're going to decouple. Okay. Okay. Activate those engines and put ourselves away slightly. And it's good enough. So that way nothing changes. And now we're going to switch to this. And it's going to be really big and slow and cumbersome. But that's okay because all I need this to do. Which there's no RCS on here, which is why this thing is taking forever to turn around. All I need you to do is just turn around. Oh, oops. I was going the wrong way. And in fact, I was actually going the wrong way. Because what I want to do is I want to deorbit this thing. was literally going the wrong direction okay so in fact I actually was facing the right way which is not good uh, am I still close enough yeah okay so you are the one that needs to turn around okay and I actually need you Go no no definitely not that way not that way that way there we go because that thing is gonna come jetting past you okay so I do need you to slow down uh, I'm not worried about the time to node and the length of burn and how much fuel I have left or anything like that because all I need this thing to do is deorbit itself. Now this thing's good. Yeah, okay, that one doesn't have the gimbling. Ugh. Okay. So, now that we are pointed in vaguely the right direction, what I need to... What I'm going to need to happen is I'm going to need this to fire up. Bam! There we go. And we'll just let that burn, off, burn itself out of fuel. There it goes. Now, I may not be close enough to it yet. So... Map. Need 
to switch to. Now that should fall back down to the planet while I do the rest of this. Yeah, there we go. All right. So that's on a return path now. What is my ascending and descending node? It is ridiculously high. So let's see if I can't... Let's see, I think I was the one that I hit before. So... Nope. We are having no effect on that whatsoever. So we're going to have to do this the slightly more difficult way. Okay, that is only increasing. And what I want is I want to see those things start to do that. Not a number. In a in a in is about as good a point as you can get for a So, 28, 26 seconds, okay. It's a waste of Delta V, but then again, any type of maneuver note like the any arc adjustments are basically fuel wasters. I mean, there's really not much you're going to be able to do about that. Okay, so time accelerate. Because I've been playing this game for way too long and there's other stuff I need to do today. Because as I mentioned in the last video that you guys didn't see, or the last recording that I did that you guys didn't see, Dragon Age is coming out on Tuesday, as many of you may be aware, and I plan on playing it. So where are we at? 0, 0.0 degrees. I like that number. So turn off the RCS because I don't need that to make my turns. Alright. Now, what I do need is I need for us to slow down in relation to El Targuito. Now the problem is I've been going for so long that there we go so we're going to have to make a couple orbits at this which will be fun but we're down to 160 And basically, well, all I'm really watching out for is my speed. When my speed gets to the point where it's like practically zero, which it won't do, it'll get to like 100 or something like that. So like this next rotation should put us about as close as we're going to get. So what does that put us at? 65? Yeah. So this, the rotation after this one... So this rotation should be about as close as I'm gonna get. After this, I should the station should jump ahead of me. Ooh, 17. Okay. So we'll let this thing go around one more time. Now, there are purists out there that will tell you. Uh, this is not realistic that my ship has been in orbit for uh, two days now and my astronaut should be running out of food and all that stuff but you know what this is a video game not real life so you know I don't play like that so we're at 17.9 right now so what I want to do is I want to thrust towards my target Now, 
Well, I need to find... There you are. That's what I was actually looking for. I was hoping that would pop up, but it didn't. So... I need to kill as much... of that as I can. Good. So in essence, that thing's practically going to follow me around at this point. Which is what I want it to do, because I want it to point. There you go. Alright. So that's saying 30, which means we're past the point that we should be at. But, that's okay, because if I do that... So RCS on... Now the crazy thing about this is, when I first tried to do this, this was about the hardest thing I had ever done in my life. Trying to dock two things in orbit. I just could not figure it out. So I went out and I found this docking UI mod. So this thing. Right? Which it'll pop up as soon as I get close enough and actually start going into the docking procedures. I was like, man, I, was like, I just cannot figure this out. And I watched a couple people's videos and it really wasn't clearly explained in their videos kind of how it was done. So I kind of mulled over the problem for a little bit before I realized the issue I was having was this. When you click here, it switches from orbit to surface to target. You'll notice that on orbit, my little velocity vector here, or my retrograde vector, is right here. When I switch to target, it becomes completely different and is slightly closer. That's because this one is actually showing me the angle and direction I am moving in relation to the target. This one is showing me the angle and direction I'm moving in relation to the planet. Right? That's what I couldn't quite figure out. Right? And of course the surface is going to be about the same as the orbit. So whenever you're doing this, you don't really need all the docking UI stuff. Just remember, always be on your target view. Because if you're not on the target view, then you're going to mess yourself up. So, that's my helpful tip, you know, for anyone who's wanting to play this game. And, uh, yeah. Just remember that... It may not go the way you think it will the first time. Let's see if I can't, yeah, we can kind of drag that down a little bit more. I'll let these things kind of puff themselves. So, let's try to get, because we've got a lot of speed that we're going to need to scrub off from doing that. So we'll go ahead and we'll shut the RCS off, because this thing is so lightweight, it doesn't really need it. Okay, and then we'll point here and start killing as much of our so you notice I'm kind of almost pointing in the direction that this thing is moving but I am literally doing that on purpose So 
that I can continue to move vaguely towards my target here. Roll. So we are still getting closer to it, which is good. We're just doing it very, very slowly. Which is bad. So now RCS on. We got quite a bit of RCS fuel left. So there's not a lot of speed that way, that's the problem. It's that way, that's the problem. So I want that velocity vector to be right on top of that target vector. Wow, so you mean all of my speed is going into moving almost literally moving alongside it. Yeah. Yeesh. Finicky little thing, aren't you? Because at this point, yeah, I'm slowing down in relation to it. So I need to maintain enough speed to keep myself moving towards it, but not so much that I go careening into it at Mach 12. So we'll use the mono propellant. Which is not a good idea, mind you, because of course I'm gonna need that to dock with, but with as much speed as I'm gonna need to as I'm gonna be scrubbing off here in a little bit. Yeah. So the kick here is when it gets to that point where I should be pulling away from it, I need to still continuously be moving towards it. So that node right there says 9.6. I need to keep that from saying, you need to keep that ahead of me, in essence. Oh man, I wish I didn't have to wear my headset to do this. Cause that is really annoying. Because it pinches, that's why. I know you were gonna ask, so. Not that it's a bad headset or anything like that, it's just A, it's old, B, it's really, really old. I should get another one, but like my brother gave me his headset and he doesn't like the same style headsets that I like. So it's like, eh. So let's get that down about as far as we can get it. Man, I am wasting a lot of mono propellant doing this. thing is I really don't want to use the engines because those engines can really be a kick in the teeth sometimes. But I love these engines because they're just like poof, 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 poof. 
Like, that's awesome. I don't know why that's awesome to me. But of course, what I'm doing is incredibly stupid and very, very, very dangerous. But, I mean, you're talking, I'm still a little over 4,000 meters out. So what should have been a simple rendezvous is turning it into a fight for my life. Look at that, three days I've been up here trying to do this rendezvous, which it really feels like three days. Oh wow, I'm so tired. But, after today, I've only got to hold out one more day. And then when I come home, Tuesday, Oh, so I've already pre-ordered it, and thanks to Origins, have pre-loaded it. Now, hopefully, I won't get. Hopefully, my videos won't. My video won't get ripped down for copyright infringement. But well, anything is possible when you're dealing with a particular company. YouTube, I mean, of course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this thing sort of go its own way for a little bit and then try wow look at that it's like why is all of my yeah it's like all of my power is going towards There's a vector that I need that I'm not getting that would help me with this. Wow, this thing is really burning through my monopropellant. So yeah, I need to stop. On, get back in line. So where are we at now? 1.7. That's actually kind of a good thing. So that basically means whatever I do, that node is pretty much, pretty much just going to appear where I need it to appear, which is right there. Of course, we are going to get some slippage, but, well, sadly, there's not much that can be done about slippage. tell you doing this on rocket engines is incredibly dangerous okay thank you but I need to keep that at like 1.1 and all that so when I start basically when I start thrusting towards the target each time I arrest all of that speed. Ooh, look! KSP Center! Oh, how awesome would it have been to dock over that. Well, that's not going to happen. So 
So I should have to do this one more time. So we're getting closer to it, which is good. Just need to make sure that when it's time to start slowing down. So I, in essence, need that, that vector to just completely disappear and like be all wild and crazy and all over the place. That basically means anything that I do translates into movement towards or away from the target. should happen is for a brief second
Okay, so I did all of that talking with the mute button on, so I apologize. That was very difficult, very tiring, very nerve-wracking, but it's done. You guys got to see me dock onto the station for the first time. So, awesome, right? Just as the sun sets, too. Oh, wow, that's perfect. Kick those lights on. Alright, so we need to transfer fuel out of the station and into my tanks. So, monopropellant, everything. Because we used everything just getting here. Now the problem is, of course, this means I don't have any monopropellant left in these tanks. Or at least, in these tanks. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, I don't have any monopropellant left in... So I'm going to lose the monopropellant in two of these tanks. Possibly even the third. I think there might still be some monopropellant left in this tank here. But I'll have to wait and see. And what's going to happen is I'm actually going to call it a quits here in a little bit. Because I've been playing for, in effect, almost five hours now. So let's see what you look like. Yeah, you're almost empty. Nope, 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 nope. Wrong button. So I've been playing for, in, in effect, five hours. Um, my back is killing me right now. Uh, but more importantly, nope, come on, here we go. I'll show you guys, dang it, before I leave, I'll show you guys our destination. We'll destart, we'll get this thing refueled, detach from the station. There you are. And once we detach from the station, I'll show you where we're going. Which we should have plenty of fuel and monopropellant to make the trip. Which should be okay. But this is basically the purpose of this station, is to have a permanent fuel tank in orbit. So I'll send a ship up here at some point to add some more parts to it, as well as refuel it. But mostly just refueling it. Right? So, we're done. Undock. RCS on. And... Beautiful. I was going to say slowly thrust away, but you know what? Thrust however you wish. So, we are now back in orbit. And what I need to do is I need to select this as my target. That's right. Our next destination is going to be Minmus. So, let's see. Nope. Almost there. Right when those two cross paths. We're going to be at point one. That's fine. So that's 230. And then... Whoop. Not bad, but not the place I want it to be. I want... That one. It's going to be around here somewhere. So there's my approach vectors. But I'm still not getting a capture. Uh, 
Oh, I gotcha. I'd have to make the adjustment first. Okay. So we'll have to make a plane change first before we can do anything else. But next time, we're going to start here and we're going to go straight for Minmus. So guys, I've been playing for too long. It's time for me to rest. Nothing got done, but so much happened. And to that, guys, I'm going to have to say sayonara. So we'll dock with this thing, hopefully. If I have enough monopropellant left to do it. I might not, because of course all my monopropellant was on the other ship. And that got jettisoned into space and probably has crash landed onto the planet by now. is gonna suck see what I mean revert flight back to launch 